Okay, so um, we're gonna talk about using closed guard as like, or like setting up closed guard from open guard and then using it to set up some different attacks. Right? So sometimes you can do this with double sleeve counter sleeve. So sometimes if I'm playing like double sleeve and the guy's standing a bit more square like this, it makes getting a good deal of evil hook hard. And if he's got his elbows kind of tight, it can be kind of difficult to uh, set up a triangle on the bottom. So a lot of times what I'll do here is I'm just gonna rip both sleeves up like this because that'll separate the elbow and knee space. And then I can try to pull into closed guard, right? So here for now, you're gonna drop to both knees when I pull in, uh, you're like, oh. Sometimes when I go in, what I'll do is I'll go here and I try to go for like that Valletta sweep here and then usually the guy kind of drops his balance to the, yeah, to try to defend here and I can pull in this way, right? And then I get into closed guard. Another one is if I'm playing collar sleeve sometimes here and I keep trying to open up this space and I can't get it to grab on the leading side, right? Yeah, I'll off balance forward up here and I'll use this as a way to pull into closed guard as well. Right? Here like this, he's standing square, because it's set up. Like, if that leg's back more, back. That looks back more than I can start doing more Gila Hiva stuff, right? But if we're here, uh, like this, right? I pull here and I can pull there like that, right? So I pull in closed guard, you can go here, whatever you want to do, you can close guard, but we're going to focus on the collar sleeve attack. From collar sleeve, we're here like this, right? Here I can start pulling the old body, he keeps his elbow in really tight, right? So I'm going to start off balancing up here and I use this to pull in close guard as well, okay? So just work. So when I'm here, when I do this one, what I want to look to do, again, when people stand super square, it's almost like they're forcing you to go to closed guard, and a lot of traditional attacks are kind of hard. Right? A lot of traditional stances, the guy will have that left leg back more, and then you have more of the hook and the omoplata and all this stuff, right? But when we're here, he's standing really square being defensive. So I, I separate this. Once I separate this, I get in here. I can shoot to closed guard immediately. If you just stay standing here, though, this is a good position to set up attack. I could try to go for the whole left sweep there, like this. Once I get in here as well, sometimes I can just pull this leg out and shoot up for a triangle as well. So we're just using this as like a middle position to start setting stuff up. So again, right, it's here like this. I close that there. See, now I'm here. I move around from here a little bit. See, it's hard to get his arms back inside of this. I could pull this out and go for a triangle. For the collar sleeve one, we're here like this, right? Right, we're here, so like I start off balancing forward. Right here, this is a very common response, okay? They, they keep this elbow so tight, they fall to the floor with that knee, and because they don't want to expose this, because if they open this, I'm gonna take the omoplata. So they keep it so tight, it off balances them forward. So here, uh, I can keep the sleeve and try to shoot closed guard. Sometimes I just let go of the sleeve, and I just shoot in here, and now I get closed guard. And then from here, we'll start working to the tricep and trying to build the attack from there. Okay, but if you don't threaten using the closed guard a lot, it becomes really easy for the guy to avoid a lot of your traditional attacks because they get very stally in the center. So by actually making the guy respect the closed guard and making it dangerous, they'll start actually responding with more of the classic one leg forward stance. But if they don't respect it, they're gonna stay in that kind of stall position. So, if I'm here and I clear the space, right, like I said, I can use this as like a middle position. I try to go here, but even if he's space standing, you can still close the guard here and just immediately start going for like kind of a waiter sweep, potentially an arm bar and different things from here. But a lot of times, especially when the guy's sparring and you go there, they'll come to the floor, they won't stay standing. Okay, so now just go to the floor. However we got here, right? So we just got the close guard. So as soon as I get the close guard, you can stay here and play like a proper full close guard, try to do all these attacks. But another great way to attack from here is to just get good grips that you would like from close guard and then reopen the guard, right? So I'm gonna go cross collar and behind the tricep here, okay? This is gonna function very similar to a collar sleeve game, just with the tricep. The benefit with the tricep is that it's hard for him to pull his elbow back to defend triangles and arm bars and stuff, okay? So maybe go up to the elbows with the collar sleeve. Okay, so we're here like this, right? So I'm here, I'm trying to pull this out, I can't, right? And I start poking in here. I go to close guard. See, now we're here, I grab behind the tricep. From here, I'm immediately going to shift out and put my knee shield in like this, okay? So once I get the knee shield here, this allows me to create a lot of separation. Even if he keeps his elbow kind of tight, it's easy to use the shield in the hand behind the tricep to create space. Now I can get my foot on the hip and create more space. I'm gonna bring this leg out and shoot to the triangle, okay? Here, like this, right, so his elbow's tight. I go behind here, I shrimp out and get the knee shield in. Now I can create a little bit more space, 
work the foot on my hip and go here. Even if he tries to grab my ankle here to push it down, I can bring this back and go over and shoot here for the triangle. Okay, this is a great attack because, see look, when I'm doing the collar sleeve, I'm looking for this, this old bottom, the foot, all this stuff, and it's really difficult. He's being very defensive, right? So I come here, I go there, like this, I go here, and now, see, I, I went to close guard, but immediately I opened it back up to go for that attack, okay? So you can use close guard not only to attack from close guard, but it's easy to hold the guy there to set up the preferred grips you would like. So if we go back and just start the close guard this one. Okay, like if I like to play De La Kiva with this sleeve and this pant leg, if I just hold the sleeves here and he stands up to open the guard, I can go here, I can grab this pant leg beforehand, unlock and drop. Now I have De La Kiva with this sleeve. Right? You can do that with a lot of positions in the closed guard. Whatever grip you would prefer, double sleeve, collar sleeve, collar pant, cross sleeve, you can set those up in closed guard as the guy's opening it and you already have that grip when they open, right? Okay, so again, we go across collar, behind the tricep, I shift out here, go in there, 